We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. Well, what is my destiny? That is for you to discover. Oh. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Okay, okay. Uh, who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. Ah. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Fair enough. Uh, I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. Ah. Uh, you mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Fair enough. I'm ready to learn. We are the Greybeards. Oh. Followers. No, no. Hey. Wind, guide you. All right. Uh, tell me about the Greybeards. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Windcaller. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Well, thanks. Uh, what is, who is Jürgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Why are the dragons returning? Does that have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Uh, there are only four of you. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. Oh. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. I see. When can I meet your leader, Parthenax? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Uh, what is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinnereth at the dawn of time. She gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Hmm. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. All right. Uh, but I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me learn the voice? I'll try to follow the way of the voice. Um... So if I follow it, that means I can't use it in combat. Uh, I don't follow your philosophy. Why help me with learn the voice? The dragonborn is an exception to all the rules. The dragon blood itself is a gift of the gods. If we accept one gift, how can we deny the other? As dragonborn, you have received the ability to shout directly from Akatosh. We oh. therefore seek to guide you on the proper use of your gift which transcends the restrictions which bind other mortals. I'd like 
like that gray area, thanks. Um, all right, that's pretty much everything, looks like. Talk to you later. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Huh. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. Oh, yeah, All shouts are made up of three words of power. Okay. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the second word in unrelenting force. Yay. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Balance. Combine force, it force. with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Force, Ro. balance. truly do have the gift. But Thanks. learning a word of power is only the first step. You okay. must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Okay. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. Ah. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Okay. Now let me go see how quickly you can master your new form. Okay. What do I need to do? Use your unrelenting force shout Wait. to strike the targets as they appear. Targets? Which targets? Ah! I don't want to hurt you guys, so let's... Sophia, yeah, whatever. Force no! Cool. <coughs> well done. Again. Thanks. Okay, uh, where... Yeet! Ah! Force no! Sorry, Sophia. Sorry. You learn quickly. Once more. Okay. Yeet! Yeet! Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. Oh, thanks. We so... will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Okay. Follow Master Bori. Bori? You and I make a great couple. Oh, I mean like a team, not like... Forget it. Stop embarrassing yourself over the great beards. Let's go. I know what you mean. Those graybeards are a strange bunch. Imagine having to sit there in silence all the time. I just couldn't do it. I struggle staying quiet for even a minute. I've also, what's not the point noticed. in having all that power and not using it? I suppose those graybeards must be getting on a bit, though. completely new shout. Okay. Master Bori will teach you Wold, which means whirlwind. Whirlwind. It's wrong. Oh, there it is. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Uh, helps if I look at it the right way over. Approach Master Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of Wold. Skills, not skills, not skills. I know it's under magic, dummy. Dummy! It's this one. And let's favorite that one as well. So I can just do this. Mr. Sprint. Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will right. be your turn. Alright. Master Bori. Rex! 
Now, your turn. Sweet! Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> your quick mastery of a new thume is... Uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? Yeah. I, th I thought this was easy for everyone. I don't know how I do it, it just happens. Thank you, what's next? You are now ready for your last trial. Ooh, okay. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, uh, okay. from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrav. Oh. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Where's, where's that at now? Uh, they are the shouts of the dragon. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. Uh -huh. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Interesting. Okay, uh, I've asked you all of those questions, so we're done here. Alrighty. Wind, guide you. Thank you, and you. Oh. Hmm, unrelenting force shout, uh -huh. tallest mountain in Skyrim. Yes. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We should fetch our good friend Lydia and show her the few. And at the same time, you could show her your new shout. If she accidentally falls, then I suppose it's no big loss. <laughs> what? Don't give me that look. That would be... Okay, that would be kind of awesome, but I mean... I don't know, if we got caught, we'd get in so much trouble. Yeah. anyways. Now I need to find the tomb. Jürgen Windcaller, which is probably somewhere around over. Do I don't even have a sight in the Probably not. I do. I trained the horde and Jürgen Windcaller, so. Over it, oh. That's really far away. I don't want to walk all the way over the. Ooh, hollow the vigilant. Hey, isn't that that quest? Uh, no, 
let's just go back to White Run for now. I need to buy supplies for this trip. I'd hate to get hit by that thing, let me tell you. That would suck. Especially those barbs on the blade. Ugh. No thanks. No, thank you. I used to be an adventurer like you. Yeah? Then I took an arrow in the knee. Oh. So now you you're need to find bird. the horn of Jorgen you Windcaller? Yeah. You're the one they call yes, Dragonborn. a little horny. Sorry, that was a bad joke. That was terrible. Me. That was a terrible joke. Ah, uh, the Greybeards seem to think so. Then it is too late. The lie has already taken root in the hearts of men. What? So we shall expose to them the falseness in their hearts by tearing out yours, deceiver. What? When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. What is what? Wait, what? You know what? Oh! <laughs> That's the thing. Oh no. The guard man me too. I don't know what's going on. But I I'll screw you, Etronach. I might as well just die and start over. That's the bad. There we go, yep. Okay. I have no health. Well, I have food, I suppose, but. Let's not go back there right now, but you know what, they're going to be there no matter what. Whenever I get there. Here, let's travel to Breeze Hole this time instead. I don't own it, so we can't jump inside real quick. Dang it! I forgot about that. That was my master plan. Oh well. So you need to find the horn of Jorgen Windcaller? Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, I had heard he was a little horny. Sorry, that was a bad joke. Even for me. Yeah, you're right. Alright, I'm gonna save. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of me. Yeah. Wish these cultists leave me alone. How's that? I do this all day. Yeah, Alright, we'll get this over here. Come over here. I don't want to get people involved. Ugh. All right. You know, I know the future because I've done this already. You should just kill them. All right, come over here. Give me your sob story. You there. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Yes. Yes, I'm Your dragonborn. lies fall on deaf ears, deceiver. The true dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. You know, the told when me there's Lord more than Merak one. appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. That, yeah, fine. I don't care, whatever. Oh, no way. You are yeah, jerk. I don't want your crap. Like this, this, and the dagger. The mask I don't want. The robes and the gloves. And the Time ends now. Yeah. I shall die. She'll die. Okay. No. Oh, I'm not getting aggression out. Totally not getting it. You know what? Out of all the people, Sophia has no... No room to do. She'd understand. Do you have something to say? Fat. No, I... Not you, Sophia. I'm not. I, no. This, this woman's fat. She's heavy. Here. Alright, so... They they tripped and fell on the rocks. Well, they tripped on the rocks and fell and died. I don't know, whatever. It's not stealing. This is... Uh, this is the apothecary. Hey, I'll go sell her all. Crappy 